Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Undertale of course, and welcome back to another series on my channel, recording this during my time off between Christmas and New Year's from the streams. If you're wondering where are the videos and I mostly stream nowadays, check out the video description for my Twitch channel. We're gonna be playing Prophecy of Pandora, I streamed this mod before, it is fantastic, it has light... Uh, kind of Lord of the Rings and fantasy things with it, like elves and such, but it's still Mountain Blade Warband at its core, and it is fantastically well polished. Probably the most well polished mod there is, and probably the best, if not at least, top three best mods ever for Mountain Blade Warband. Highly recommend you checking it out. I just got it from the Steam Workshop. Click subscribe, installs automatically. Super easy. Uh, I've already played it on stream before, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna be a male. I'm gonna have a father that is a merchant ship captain. He put us in the care of a successful merchant. Uh, and we are right now a self-employed self merchant. And we received a message that our father has died. Those are the choices I'm gonna make. It's mostly uh, to get gold. We're gonna go realistic without quitting. But we also get a lot of trade and a bit of looting, which are gonna be great for making that early game money. The best way to make money early game or any game here is winning tournaments. You can get like 20,000 if you bet on yourself a lot. I think that it's only like 15k profit, but that's still a lot of profit in just one single tournament and a lot of them are fairly easy to win if you have a little bit of skill but they're locked behind 120 or 150 we known uh, so even if you go warrior you're still gonna have to grind for quite some time before you can do those so I rather go a non-warrior way in the beginning so I can have a lot of men make money quick and get enterprises up in the cities to get my economy going so we want to focus now on making ourselves a better warrior with the points we have left so iron uh, flash power strike we get agility up to nine so we can get weapons master and power draw and then we're gonna pump the last tree into horse archery we're not gonna need power draw and horse archery right in the beginning but they're gonna be awesome to have later because bows are fantastic i think we start off with a crossbow so we're gonna pump all we have into crossbow for now and we just gotta come up with a good name okay i know the perfect name uh baldur the sheep since uh, we did start out our entire lives as a son of a merchant and a merchant, I mean, we're not a good merchant if we're not known for being sheep, you know? We're not making good deals unless we're sheep, so Baldur the Sheep, I think that's great. We might uh, might get known as Baldur the Great or the Brave later or the Slaughterer or who knows. We're, let's see where it takes us. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good here actually. The hairstyle is a little bit dopey, but it kind of looks Viking-ish and we do have a little bit of a scar going, but other than that, we're not too beat up. I mean, we are Viking, sure, but we have been a trader, so we haven't exactly been in a lot of combat. We are pretty much a beginner when it comes to that kind of stuff, so we're gonna have to need some men, but I think that works great. Uh, we are gonna go to Jarvik's home because those are kind of the Vikings. Okay, so let's take a look at the map real quick. Ravenstern, uh, Kingdom of Ravenstern. It's kind of like the British and uh, I guess the Scottish at the same time. Got like some Highlander troops as well as uh, some, some pretty British looking sounding troops, you know. Uh, then we have uh, Sara Leon, which are the Reds, which are kind of like Fra France. Then we have the Yellows, which are the Bakus Empire, which is kind of like, uh, um, I, I guess, uh, the Roman legions and whatnot. Very much like them. Singals, pretty much your typical, like, desert steppe nomad people, you know, like fast horses, uh, uh, recurve bows, you know, composite bows, that kind of stuff. Obviously, the Vikings have great elite infantry, but kind of weak bowmen and cavalry. These guys are kind of good with cavalry. These guys are kind of good with... Uh, uh, bows and heavy units, but not really great with cavalry. These guys are kind of like a good all-around mix, and these guys obviously uh, kind of lack normal bowmen and lack good normal infantry. They're not bad, though, 
but they really shine when it comes to the kind of the ranged horse units. So uh, we're starting out here. I think we're not even going to bother with the starting quest quite yet. We might go and accept it, though. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's uh, the info if anyone wants to, like, go and donate. But then again, if you play the game, you're going to see that yourself. We're going to hit up the tavern, and we're going to go talk to... Uh, here we go, Merchant of Jorvik's home. It's going to be... This guy is always going to be at the city where you start. And uh, he's basically going to tell you that his son has been captive, and we need to collect five men. So we are now going to start trying to make some money. And as you can see, we have a ton, 7,000 denarius, uh, thanks to the starting choices we did. But we are a shit warrior and we're solo, uh, but we can have 50 men already, which is great. So we're going to try to get some men really quick and start making some money. I messed up a bit. I, I ran right into, I think, five or six... Uh six uh, forest bandits they're pretty pushover but the thing is i don't have a shield so trying to get into melee range and doing anything is difficult so i think getting a shield is also going to be a priority uh i'm thinking we're going to get Ansen as a companion as quick as possible lothaldrian as well if we can find him he's kind of hard to find sometimes uh and we also might want to get yeah we definitely want to get sarah the fox uh, Sarah the Fox is great for looting, Ansen is uh, great for uh, wound treatment, uh, for surgery, like basically intelligence based stuff and he starts off very low level just like Sarah the Fox and then you have very expensive but great elf uh, companion which is Lothaldrian, I think he costs like 6k to hire in the beginning uh, but he, he can he can solo all these six dudes easily uh, most of the time like 90% of the time uh, and um, also, uh, he can uh, be sent to get right to rule and possibly get some uh, elf troops for you, which are damn OP early game, like fighting these kinds of dudes. Like one elf would just wreck these guys. Like Lothaldrian, he's worse than most elf units when you get him. Uh, he can become really beastly though, just like the elf units themselves, but he needs a lot of kills for that though. So that's going to be kind of slow, but uh, those are the three we want to get. Definitely Anson and uh, Sarah the Fox though. Uh, Lothaldrian is kind of like a bonus thing if we can find him and afford him, uh, because getting those elf troops would be really good for just like, you know, dealing with uh, enemies even if they kind of outnumber you here's a thing you guys gotta think about uh, there's uh, people to sell prisoners all over that's not the good thing uh, a lot of the people you talk to in taverns might have this have you heard any rumors of interest uh, must pay 10 dinars and if they have a rumor to tell you they will tell you that for 200 more and it's always worth taking the 200 more Always. Sometimes you get unlucky and it's just like some men to hire, but a lot of the time those men can be really good and a good amount of men as well. Uh, and most of the time it's a uh, treasure or uh, like a hidden treasure in a city or a treasure you have to fight for in a bandit camp. And the first treasure in a bandit camp you get has a Qualys gem. We're gonna get in more to the Qualys gems later, but if you ever find one, don't lose it. The rare. I think that you might be able to get like 20 in the entire game and all 20 will be useful for something, trust me. You can never have too many Qualys gems. This is something I really like to do. I like to do the unnamed number two as hero bodyguards and I like to do this as elite. And then leave the lost one for any other kind of group I want to give something special. Uh, we're not going to put these guys as elite, we're going to put them as uh, archers. These are pretty decent, like Melantine Free Brothers. They become some pretty good archers later or decent infantry, but they're not fantastic. But that was the only men I've found so far and I've hit up, uh, well, three different cities, including the starting one. So I'm going to see if we can get, get more lucky here and maybe find some companions or, or some stuff. Okay, here's some... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey man, like, uh... Uh oh. Oh shit. Hope he's not skilled. Would be a shame to... Oh! Oh! He's pretty good. I think I'm just low level. Here we go. <laughs> even uh, even leveled up. That's awesome. Your relationship with... Okay, the relations improved. That's awesome. Common iron sword. Uh, better him than me. What a bastard. Uh, okay, mercenary swordness. These guys are great. But uh, very expensive. We have that's her slave trader. This guy doesn't matter. Sir Jocelyn is a good companion, but we don't want to spend any money on him now since we want to be careful with our money. Only do it on the companions that we really need right now for the early game grind and spend our money first of all until we have 10 businesses. I think at least that's kind of what I'm going for. 
Okay, we're right outside Laria, which is a very important city, because what? who is inside the tavern? Uh, you will always find Quiffingen here, I think that's how you call him, uh, and he will sell you uh, things that the elves have made, and it's pretty much the best stuff. The elves are called Noldor, by the way. Uh, you start with minus 30 relations, and you need 15 relations with them, plus. Uh, then you can do a quest with this guy, and when you finish that quest, you can access their city and do Noldor tournaments, which are super difficult, but you get some extremely good gear sometimes when you win, or a Qualysium. So they're... and they only happen... Uh, the first, the second, and the third day of each new month. So you gotta keep track of that. I think sometimes it might still be going on, the tournament, the fourth day, but you don't want to miss those, because those tournaments are fantastic. Uh, but we can't do anything right now, but we got lucky, or not super lucky. We checked, what is this, fi fifth city? Uh, we found Ansen, uh, so we're gonna hire him. Oh, he's free even, wow. Okay, yeah, you always gotta get him. Uh, Spearman. These guys are pretty good, but they don't have any shields and they don't have any swords. Just like pikes. They're good versus uh, cavalry, but nothing else really. Oh yeah, by the way, you can talk to them and talk about managing uh, stuff. Tell them to upgrade the armor automatically and upgrade the weaponry. And I want them to be one-handed weapons, then shields, arrows, and bows. Uh, yes. And then you can do make all the party members upgrade as you, uh, you do. I'm right now right outside the Marlons and these guys, the brigands, are fantastic to fight early game for good loot. Uh, because their, their uh, companies or, or their little war bands consist of 90% pushover shit troops. Like, which pretty much any mid-tier units can, you know easily kill two or three of uh, and then they have like three or four knights which aren't that skilled but they have knightly gear which you have a pretty high chance of getting and you can also get some other cool loot stuff that is quite valuable so you, you want to always fight them okay guys hopefully that wasn't too much talking and too much information i tried to cram as much stuff in there as possible just so you guys that are watching and want to play this mod as well can enjoy it and kind of have this as a short tutorial to get you started because it is a pretty difficult and challenging mod but I think the challenge makes it even more enjoyable to play in the end so hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe if you aren't already as always thank you for watching have a wonderful day bye bye